You know, I usually try to keep it pretty measured on this channel because I understand there's differences of opinion and differences of opinion make for good content, good conversations, good debates. But I got to tell you, I'm a bit over the hate towards Zach Wilson from Jets fans. I'm a bit over because it's the number one comment I get. Any video with Zach Wilson in the title, before there's even time that you could have watched the whole video, it's comments, Zach Wilson sucks, what a bust, we should have taken this guy. Even in com- videos not about him. Debo Samuel videos, doesn't matter, Zach sucks, no one to throw him the ball, same old Jets. And man, what are we doing here? Based on what data should we have taken Trey Lance or Justin Fields over Zach Wilson? And Mac Jones? Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Drop me a video of you saying a year ago today that Mac Jones would be the second overall pick in the NFL draft. I do not believe you. Mac Jones, whose arm could substitute as a pool noodle and is built like a Lego covered in melted cheese. Mac Jones. Miss me with that. And then Trey Lance, Justin Fields, who I like, no shade, but Justin Fields objectively did not have a better rookie season than Zach Wilson. Did not. Trey Lance, I like Trey Lance, but when's the last time this kid started in consecutive games of college or NFL, like the moon landing? When's the last time this kid played? He may not even be starting next year. And speaking of the 49ers, the 49ers made a phone call to the Jets for the number two pick. Guess who they probably would have taken? Zach Wilson. So it would have been same old 49ers, right? Even Trevor Lawrence was taken before him. Let's just look at, let's talk about this. Trevor Lawrence, uh... Zach Wilson and Justin Fields. Let me give you a couple nuggets. Total touchdowns last year. Trevor Lawrence, 14. Zach Wilson, 13. Justin Fields, 9. Total interceptions and fumbles. Zach Wilson, 16. Justin Fields, 22. Trevor Lawrence, 28. Yeah, Trevor played a few more games than Zach. One of them, he played Zach Wilson. Guess who won? And and you know who's not doing this? Fans of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Chicago Bears, and San Francisco 49ers. They all are still hyped about the potential of their extremely talented young quarterbacks, and that's what Zach Wilson is. He is the most physically gifted Jets quarterback of my lifetime. Name a Jets quarterback in the 21st century that has had this combination of athleticism and arm talent. I will wait. And they're not doing that. In fact, I think I have an APB out on me from the Duval County Sheriff... From Jags fans on Twitter losing their ever-loving minds when I mention the sheer possibility that Zach Wilson may be better than Trevor Lawrence. They come out in droves for their quarterback. And Jets fans sitting there just dogging on him. It's the easiest thing to do. You know why? Because you want to be the guy who gets to say, I told you so. Right? You root against your own player because you want to be the guy in the bar that said, oh, I knew he was going to be a bust. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. What's harder to do is be vulnerable, put yourself out there, show optimism, excitement, and acknowledge that Zach Wilson had his struggles, but he's incredibly talented, and he finished the year taking some very promising strides, and that the Jets, maybe this upcoming season, will put a competent NFL team around him. Does this mean that Zach Wilson gets a forever leash and he's going to be on the team forever, no matter how he produces? No. We didn't do that with Sam Darnold. When it was time to move off him, we moved off of him. But to have already given up on him, just so you can be the guy who's right. It, buy a different jersey, dude. Go to Duval. I hear property is pretty cheap there. Go get a nice tan. But either way, let's go Jets.